Okay, hello everyone. Um, Gitanski here, and we are going to do some Grumpy website development. Again, right? So I don't have a clear idea what exactly we are going to do today. Probably just continue to work on, well, we definitely continue to work on upload form. Uh, we'll probably just clean it up here and there and um, fix whatever uh, we, we see. Okay, so right now I'm actually in the middle of, uh, where was it? It was in body. Yeah, so there was an issue with text area, which was like, so I'll show you real quick. So if you have, I had it like that. Uh, and if I created a new draft here and start typing, it only types one letter and then loses focus, right? Then you can return it and, and everything is okay. So what, what happened is, as I assume, um, if uh, you load a new post from a server and there is no body edited yet and there is no post body yet, so this resolves to nil, the so value is nil, and React defaults like to uncontrolled component. Then as you type the first letter, it suddenly has a value, so it becomes controlled component, and this uh, transition is not very smooth for React. So having default value here helps. Okay, so let's delete, let's go in there, and now we can type whatever one. Okay, cool. So another thing that I was doing is like uh, deleting drafts and uh, right now I don't have a draft for me, right? I'll probably go in drafts and <laughs> delete all the drafts because I don't really like them. Uh, Let's delete drafts. Yes, thank you, Reda Sash. Okay, uh, so we have no drafts to get, that get in our way. Okay, so next thing that I'm going to do is how do we actually manage to create a new draft? So now that, um, that we are only sending particular, um, I just want to check it. Yeah, it's recording. Uh, now that we send particular fields, uh, the rest of the post is not populated by default. So we have to be careful what we say, what we not. And especially the first important thing, it's probably okay for most things. The important thing is when we don't have a new post draft, right? What is the moment when we create one? So that moment was implicit before now. And I want to make it explicit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if we go to editor.clj and we'll see that edit post page has here. So we either get draft. Uh, this is unnecessary actually. It's like that. We either get draft, right, or we return something. Okay. But uh, instead, it should be. If there is no draft, um, okay, so now I am a little bit confused. So the, the problem is, okay, let's, let's go to post and see what, what it does. does it do? uh, the problem is that get draft is used for getting existing draft or creating a new draft and getting that, right? So yeah, maybe we should uh, split it into two. So maybe get draft is like that. You know what? Yeah, maybe we should create new draft. Uh, 
it's a new draft would when this doesn't exist, right? So hmm. it's uh, the, the other thing is that I don't think I will ever. No, actually, it seems that get draft. Okay, okay. So let's leave get draft to get draft and new draft. Uh, create draft to create draft, right? Okay, so uh, so create draft depends on post ID. So if uh, we have actually if some so if post id is my user is username starting with at um, yeah that means we have to create new draft and that would be It actually should be serialized too, probably somehow. So create a folder for that uh, post, right? And we, for example, So this is shared actually. So if we don't have it, we if we are trying to create a file for user. Okay, so this is shared as well. Yes. Uh, so it, the only difference would be okay. Where do we take original, right? So original is. It actually depends on if we uh, this, so it's just like this, right? So we have uh, author and user. Otherwise, uh, we should actually. Okay, so it might be trickier a little bit. So the trick is this, this function uh, handles both a new post draft where you only have to write post it in and uh, existing post draft, right? Existing post draft is uh, you need to copy the whole folder for it for some reason. And maybe you shouldn't. Why would you copy the folder? I mean, if you are going to replace image. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me just. So some steps will be different, right? So, but some some will be the same. Okay. So uh, we have to write. Uh, so in this case, we don't read anything. But okay, let's say. Okay, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, this is uh, just two completely different steps. I just conf was confused. Okay, so if it's new, 
what we do is create a dir um, we set it like this we create a dir and um, what do we do Let's call it draft. In fact, I decided to make a distinction between drafts and posts. We huh. yeah, I guess it's just it's just that. It's called hidden. Okay, so this is completely what that is. this is what happens with if we try to create a new post. If we don't try to create a new post, then we have an original in here, right? And original would do this. It would copy. Would be this. It would be this, and we copy the original deer and we read the draft file, right? It doesn't really matter what we read, but hopefully this okay so this is create draft okay and that means that here we just uh, return This is the only thing that we need to do here. Okay. Um, yeah. So create draft, get draft. Okay. Here we either get draft if it exists or we create draft. Like this. Right. Right. The only thing maybe I somehow I want to pass a user in there maybe yeah let's let's not be too implicit um, so user is passed explicitly starts with so if starts with, with we create a new one Normally, this should be two separate functions somehow. I'm not sure how. Maybe from here I would. Yeah. Yeah, maybe new post draft and different edit draft so because these two functions are different they need different uh, argument list it, it didn't make much sense to keep them in the same function okay so here what do we need 
new deer, original deer, original deer and draft one. Draft deer. Okay. This looks beautiful. Uh, this we don't need. We can unify this. And we postpone this decision to somebody up, up there, right? So basically, you post draft. Dear, let's keep the same names. Okay. Even as this, we don't have post ID. Right. Okay, dear is dear. Speed draft post there star even. Yeah, this seems okay. Let's see if Starts with yes. What? There's no start with in new version, right? Okay, dear, dear is missing. Yeah, dear because it's called draft dear now. Yes. Cool, let's see, reset, uh, syntax error, editor 200. Yeah, uh, here we need to update, so right, right now, so there's edit post page, which should be something like uh, draft page. Or, uh, oh. Again, there, so this is like, single function that sort of does two jobs but well so we have it here okay so here's what i am gonna do Well, normally this should be two different um, pages one for new new post another one for editing a post but the thing is once you start writing a new post it becomes an edit as well yeah let's suggest so this one i don't really like um it's it's okay but let's just pass this explicitly uh so we are going to say true here it's new right false here it's not new uh e even better we no i don't think so all drafts are the same, kind of. Yes, this is, this is strange. This is not aligned. For some reason, I don't know why. Wow, so there's a lot of endpoints. Okay, whatever. Um, let me. Let me roll this back for now. Um, yeah, maybe it was okay. Maybe it was okay. So, 
yeah maybe i was too harsh no okay no 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 okay so you um if you so get get draft right if it's possible otherwise if it's new we we what we do new post draft i get post draft okay new post draft Edit post draft. Maybe it should be create. Create new draft and create edit draft. Yeah, this is better. Create new draft. Create edit draft. Okay, so create edit draft requires post ID, create new draft requires user. We have both. We have both. Then data is post ID, blah, blah, blah. Post user title, subtitle false, editor. So yeah, so we don't have this yet. Server side rendering, I mean. Okay, so there's ADLCLGS and we need, yeah. This seem okay. I don't think it sh should be edit, edit post page. Now let's rename it to edit draft page. Okay, let's see if that works this time. Yes, it seems to work. Cool. So now the important thing is, is we go, do we have a draft now? No, right? Let's delete it anyway. Yes. Uh, as we go create a new, boom. So that's, that's not good. Grampy data draft Nikitonsky post again. Yeah, you're supposed to create it. What, what the fuck? And it was thrown from get draft. Okay, get draft. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't do when exists draft. Yeah, I'm not sure if I need. Let me set. Warn on action draw. And I don't so no huh. reflection warnings. Okay, so if if this is working, I'm not sure. How do I? Yeah, so reflection warning is is here, and reset doesn't give us any reflection warnings because it seems okay. Okay, good. Well, so it seems to work. Okay, okay. So what we need to test now is that once we create a draft. It is actually created, first of all. Yeah, it is, seems to be created. Then we type something. It seems to be saved. I probably want to tune this. Um, yeah, this is possible. This is wrong. So one in 10 times like this, maybe, would be better. Um, seems to cre be created. Okay, the second thing that we need to test if we can, yeah, we can. Post is not relative class, okay. 
it was thrown from created the draft. Okay, cool. um, yeah, this seems this shouldn't be this. No, should be. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if this is important. Probably not. I cannot imagine why they would be. Okay. So I'm going just do this. Do reset. Boom, we have a draft and let's go and yeah, we have pictures, have everything, cool. Then if I click cancel edit, nothing happens because it's not implemented. If you go here, we get a draft load. If you click, click, click delete, all this draft is deleted. Um, I probably do want to go to buttons don't have it here so there is delete right um yeah and we probably want the same thing here so we do have a, pro a, bit, a little bit of problem um that we get these drafts on posts accumulated so if I ever go to edit a post, okay, no, like this, um, it creates a copy of the folder for it, right? Then if I just close the page, the folder stays because no action is taken, right? If I click cancel, it is deleted, but if I don't, uh, it stays. Okay, so this feels okay enough to commit. Create new draft, create a new draft. Okay, so this, 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 and this. Okay, so we will say it was creating am I recording here? creating creating what huh. yeah explicit draft creation actually before I commit I maybe need to think about Serializing this, right? So getting draft is even getting draft should go through post agent actually. Like this. Okay, let's let me do this and see where this will lead us. In fact, no, this is not entirely correct, right? So um, this would mean that instead for, for this operation, I will have I will run two concurrent. So this will be first concurrent operation. Maybe, okay, let me think again. All right. So do I want to read a draft while it is? Yeah, maybe we can read like this, Not do not linearize this. 
mostly because you don't probably want to re to, to, to wait. No, you do want to wait. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, if this should work relatively well, right? This is good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's leave it like that. So that means we wouldn't see half half committed post or something like that. Like guaranteed not to see those. Okay, let's see. Uh, right now we have Nikitonsky posted. And let's see, do we get it? Yes. Boom. Um, we couldn't resolve post ID. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yes. This is our post ID. Yeah, yeah. Being draft. Should I write a macro to do this? Maybe I should. Will be pretty simple macro, right? Macro give me rice. And it will do exactly this. Drop give me rice, post agents, ID. Um, this okay. The, it will hide that we are using this, which is good for us, and we will also not, not be required to write to wrap this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so another option would be to go, for example, here and wrap this in posts. E arise, but then it's too easy to forget to do that. It's probably better because you check and then create in the same transaction, kind of, right? Yeah, I feel this is better. Okay, let's see. Let's um, let's do that and see how we feel about it later, right? Are we, like, are we concerned or not concerned or whatever? Does it work? Does it compile? No such ID. Yeah, of course. This should be like this. Okay, so let's see. Do we get our post? Okay, so it has empty body for some reason. Boom. Saved. Cool. Delete. Boom. By the way, delete. I'm not deleting with. We are deleting. Um, in here. Delete. Delete, delete, delete. So, yes, there is delete. And this delete is this goes in posts. Maybe I should create a namespace just for drafts because oh, it is for drafts. No, it's not for drafts. Maybe I should create drafts, right? Uh, delete, yeah, delete post ID, 
good draft. Okay, so we'll file this draft here. So we go over all features. I'm not sure if Java Finals has something to be deleted here. No, no, not probably not, right? Uh, Java delete here. Yeah. Okay, so hmm. yeah, this looks nice. Um, so the trick is uh, before I was. So it's not how it's supposed to work. Okay, so actually this delete deal was probably failing. Uh, all we I know is that we have a draft deal, right? And we go let me just see. I'll seek and for example let's take let's take something more interesting. Where do we start compress? Yeah, this looks okay. Um, Okay, so it starts with the directive itself, then it goes inside. I actually want maybe let's 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 take another example. SRC. Okay, so we start with going. So if you just walk it in reverse order, we should be able to do it. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's basically reverse. So this is how you delete a draft. Okay. But it also, of course, should be linearized with. I don't know. I don't feel like. Delete draft. Okay, let's see where do we delete delete draft. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, update draft. It's here. Yes. So uh, the thing is, I feel like each of these functions is okay and so on, but um, together, I mean, yeah, uh, they are more useful when they do not assume linearize here. Right, because then you can wrap them in transactions like this one. Okay. Um, the trick is, but 
but but it is it really easy it is really easy to forget that you should wrap them in this right and normally like library should guarantee you that um, you should guarantee you like um, consistency right so what i'm thinking is actually redoing this system a little bit so first of all probably this post agents is probably should be in jobs okay so let's grab jobs have linearize here and it actually should do this well we have Def once jobs pool atoms. So this is global jobs pool, right? I just call it pool. I don't know. Yeah, and so this macro should do this the same as here. It should it has time out of six of one unit. Not sure why I said that, but okay. So, we, what we have is linearize sync with pool with ID and this function, right? So, what we should do here is call this simple and then call block on the result with, for example, one unit. Um, yeah, and this post agents should be just pull. So that's a macro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, I forgot. So I wanted also another thing going, and that thing would be if you call linearize from inside the linearize they should merge somehow right so basically the way it is supposed to work is yeah it's really simple actually so we create a dynamic variable called current id yeah. it's not a job id it's rather like group id or something i don't know not sure what 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 type of id is this um how do you how do you call it so it wouldn't be a job id right so because Jobs are single Okay, let's call this thing agents. <laughs> let's call it agent ID. I don't know. Yeah, why not? Uh, oh yeah, and we call it current agent ID. Here we will have just agent id and here we have yeah agent id with there so it doesn't really matter right and now what we're gonna do is check if current agent id i'm not sure if i can compare with unbound variables So if they are the same, we are already in transaction. There are actually three, three possibilities. So if there is no current agent ID, we do this, right? So we start a new job. If the agent ID equals agent ID, we just 
call the F. We are already inside an agent thread with the same ID, so there's no need to do any anything else. But else, so if they are not equal, right? So not equal. We are going through. Uh, it's gonna be an X and four. No, 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 it's gonna be illegal state exception trying to rise agent ID while already in current agent ID. Okay, we need to stringify this. So if we're trying to linearize and it's different, we really throw an exception. And this should be okay. But normally, so that way, if we wrap this in a single transaction, it will be in the queue to the single block, even if those inside, uh, okay, so here we have jobs. So here we don't need that because we are going to move them in and we can linearize every one, every single operation in here. Even giving the post ID, especially saving and deleting, right? Okay, and diff different didn't comfort this back, yes, of course. Yeah, let's call it the funds, it doesn't really matter. Um, no, this is not what we want. Okay, it seems so. Delete in possible generated. So, yeah, okay, so this works, right? So, we get to mark this as a file, and now we don't have warnings anymore. Okay, so on the thing left is uh, I'm thinking if I should move actually draft operations to its own namespace because we have post get post and post ID here and the rest is draft operations and there will be probably much more but well one thing what I, why I want to do that is because I want to not write draft on every function name, okay? Um, I also want just to have delete operation and there's post delete and there's draft delete, right? The trick here would be where do publish operation go when you transfer from a draft to a post, but we will figure it out probably. Okay, so let's call uh, it drafts. Drafts, let's say it is drafts. Okay, and what we need, what do we call the goals? I don't know. Right? Yeah, so next post ID, this probably belongs to publish. Um, we will get there eventually. For now, we move it here. Oh, yes, just uh, no files. Yes, drops, yes, markers. No instant, no. Okay, so this is minimal. Let's also get, um, I need to refer closure. Because I can never remember how to write this properly. Um, 
sometimes it's not a good idea to name a function get, right? Yeah, for example here. Uh, no, no, actually this is not a mistake. But if I call it load, uh, load is also overloaded in closure. Maybe. Yeah, let's call it load. I don't like it because it's too easy to mistakenly. Okay, delete, uh, delete, where is delete? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, yeah, so, huh. well, actually, I should already have delete dir in files, apparently and it's used to delete uh, post so i actually can just use the same to do with drafts right uh, the only thing is this well this is okay because files operations i don't know about well no, 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 okay, so now I'm, I'm not sure, maybe I shouldn't be doing this because it's like who knows. Okay, but uh, one, one upside is that I probably should files delete here, all right, so let's see. We have exactly that in here. Cool. Um, so the upside is we, well, okay, and we go in here and delete draft. Wait, do I have a separate? No, maybe I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this deletes draft, right? This deletes post. Uh, what else do we need to update? We need to update this drafts update okay and here this all go to drafts yes yes do we have it working no at 47 what okay so here we should we have few of those so it will be drafts load. Okay. Drafts get draft. Line one, line one. Yes, because it's load now. And it's also create new, create edit. Let's see, it seems to work. Okay, okay, let's see. Now it's stuck for some reason. Um, it's not impossible that I fucked up my jobs, right? Think, thingy. Um, so we linearize, I think. Oh yeah, of course, because here we must return promise, not the function. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. Let me just check real quick if I can create realized promise now, it seems. What does deliver returns?
terms of promise, right? So if I write something like Yeah, cool. This is what we need. So instead of this, we write deliver promise f. So this returns a promise that will be in this place in the right. Okay. Oh, I also forgot binding. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I also forgot, I forgot to bin this thing, right? Um, I guess it's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's restart. Better restart. It's the whole thing. Maybe I also should uh, like lower this to one second for now, right? So that. I'll leave a comment here. Fix me. I'm not sure why. Why one minute? Um, normally, operations on a post would include like copying a few files and maybe calling Image Magic to convert a picture. Right? They probably shouldn't take long so it's just to be safe okay cool now we have an exception with exception with I can deal with this no matching close in jobs 75 25 stops. yeah oh, I also <laughs> yeah I forgot I forgot that I have my own system Okay. Reset. Now, let's see. Yeah, it seems to work. Yes. Save. Saving. Saved. Cool. Go back. Go in. Delete draft. Delete it. Yeah, seems deleted. Okay, edit. Okay, something in there. Uh, change. Let's see if body changed. Yes, it seems changed. Uh, reload just to see the change changes persist. Let's see that they are not presented here and console, console edit okay so we're back draft it's deleted cool um now i'm happy <laughs> yeah now i am happy so now everything is in it's in its place everything is named cool uh drop system seems to be oops uh, how i want it to be like transactions and stuff which I like. I'm a little bit worried if I am reinventing something here with this job system. Uh, maybe I do. I don't want to think about it. Okay. So uh, yeah, we have this definitely goes in, this goes in, this goes in, and drafts. Yes, please. Yeah. Explicit drafts creation better nested linearized jobs cool okay so this feels good this feels good uh, there is also a concern about this data structure is which is a little bit ad hoc like post id new post user it seems a little bit at least user is Probably is not needed because post always has author. Um, and you can be deduced from post ID, but I don't want to do that. Well, what concerns me is that 
it's not well first it's nested maps second it's not namespaced maybe we should revisit this as well how long has been has it been one hour okay one hour should we revisit this as well before so i mean i i want to do that before i go any further and like yeah so the idea that i had here i'm not sure yet if i like it or not but the idea that i have here is post is already a map right so it's a map. okay and it has some fields like let's choose some some of the later posts like this okay so no <laughs> right okay i don't know how to format it but uh, whatever so what is there there is picture okay and it's also namespaced also like this picture original um maybe no no yeah probably post should stay as it is i shouldn't touch post no that would be wrong uh the only then the only thing i'm concerned with is well there's post id and there's user right and there's new so do i need do i need post id user and Because in editor CLJS, I draw avatar, right? Avatar. I also should, I probably do run BC avatar, run reactive avatar, and do this. So, yeah the trick here is oops. This is where I use also, right? I don't think I use user anywhere. Let's see. What? Yeah, I don't. Okay, so user is kind of useless. Maybe it was useful when we had, um, when one person can edit post for another person it was kind of useful i don't know maybe not maybe not um so this can go and it will not break anything like at all okay this feels like progress right i still will have my avatar here i still will have my avatar here I'll probably pick up somebody else's post without a static picture. Yeah, this is me, this is me. Yeah, this one. It's good. Um, hmm. So yeah, avatar is picked up. Okay, so we don't definitely not lost anything with user okay now new okay new is is uh, like here if a post is new we go we draw different buttons depending on whether we are creating or 
yeah it's probably the only use case where it's used we can we can rely on post id like here right so definitely can do that why i like it explicit okay So there, is, there are two ways, right? I can make this a convention. The problem with convention is that it is implicit. So it's spread across your code base. Well, we already have it here, right? So, so for example, right here we create a post id from this username yes yes let's call it a convention the the problem is this convention is there is no place in code that you can track it down to right so for example if i make a function out of this like uh, is new by post id define if the post is new uh, i can probably do that right still you can write a code like this anywhere it would still work this is totally fine then there is this where we do the reverse transformation from user we create a new post id and this also part of convention or, or this right so um that's why you need conventions to be really simple and <laughs> hopefully you wouldn't need to change them i am pretty happy with this add convention because it's it's simple it's really easy to figure out what's going on it's per user so so yeah let's call it a convention that would mean that this field goes away right and in buttons new we need a function called new is new somewhere in for example, in fragments, right? So fragment seems good for that. I would put it in post, but post uh, server side, transit, web, fetch, draft. So we have collections, fragments. We already do some stuff like avatar in there. So yeah, why not? Defn is new. Post ID and we will call it starts with okay. Okay, then we go to buttons and here new fragments is new yes yes um, no, you. and here we need to react to post ID which is strange kind of oh Oh, 
Is it strange though? Don't need to react to post ID, right? Because post ID never changes. Okay, so let's see that we compile. Right? We don't compile. Yeah, because we don't include it frag didn't include fragments. Uh, fragments. Yeah. Maybe even we can in Ager CLG in fact is new must be Okay, yeah, this new must be new. Okay, and fragments, let's just call it new. Okay, so now we kind of must compile. What's wrong? What is wrong? No such name space frag. What? Didn't I include it? Okay, I probably did. Yes, please. Okay, cool. So, um, this is where I was going with it, right? So now that, let me just close. Now that we get rid of almost everything, we are left with post ID and just post. The irony of this is that post actually already has post ID, right? So if we go to some post even like, like this it has an id and it's right here right oh uh yeah, yeah, yeah. By, by the way let's see how often do we use it so we use post id in body so that we know where to send our base to uh this is reasonable and use it to update buttons okay so since post already has an id right it doesn't seem to we don't need it <laughs> that's my point yeah so reduce it to this and we can actually reduce it to just the, okay, let's let's just uh, one step at a time. Okay, so we remove post ID. Okay, uh, we go to drafts. We have great news. So here we actually have to do this. Some Some place in Okay, also body ID. Cool. All right, so now our drafts will either have an ID from here or have an ID by doing from being loaded. But ID will be inside them. Okay. This is normally this is anti pattern to keep an ID inside a thing that's already identified by ID. I mean, you're already in a folder called by ID and then you repeat this ID inside. You have an ID, right? But this seems okay for me. Okay. So post ID. Um, so here 
we need this and here this I have still have first image. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so step by step. Let me just uh we still Okay, right. Not okay. I probably need to get rid of this because I don't have an ID yet. It was created in the old system. Okay, I also will need to not forget to clean up um, everything in production before I push this. Uh, huh. Okay, let's see, create new post. Create new, save. All right, and we have, oops, we have an ID here, cool. Delete draft, edit. Delete draft, <gasps> no, 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 no. Well, this was wrong, right? So this should be edit post, by the way, is right. Buttons are wrong, right? Buttons are buttons wrong. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, because I didn't check, of course. Uh, fragments. Just new. Yeah, so this is why ID, here we check for new, here we don't need to check for new, okay. Not sure what is delete, yeah, buttons are right, cancel, delete, seems to be right. We also might want to scroll to this. Is intentional. The failures are intentional. Grab this, cancel edit. <sighs> okay. Okay. So the only thing left is so now, now, right? So we get rid of extra data that we probably don't need. Um, get rid of extra space that we don't need. Now the problem is what kind of map is it with just one field, all right? But if we go to debug, we will see that it's not just one field. So we have post. By the way, we don't have IDs here. We should add IDs, by the way. Okay, so default post will be new to just doesn't exist. Uh, ID Nikki Tonsky. Okay. This is new false would be automatically resolved by having this having an ID. This post also is okay, but it's probably will have like this post image running post picture running. This seems okay, right? So let's go to new, let's enter debug mode. Um, let's go through states. Yeah, 
Okay, cool. Um, yeah, the problem is we have this post thingy, right? That, that, that actually is post. Um, and we have fields. Then we have our custom data fields that we also keep in the same map, right? That's why it is called form instead of post. Um, so what I was thinking is, is I was thinking if I should merge the two, right? Probably shouldn't. Um, so if I do merge the two, I mean, okay, so yeah, <laughs> uh, here's the deal. At no point, as I imagine it right now, at no point will I need to send post content back into into the server, okay? Uh, okay. So, so yeah, if I merge the two, the problem becomes how do I split uh, when I need to, like uh, custom state or dynamic state and post state, right? So. I actually maybe want also to group the, so there are actually an option to put the field inside, make two two fields like post and edit, something like that. I like to have attributes in the top level though. So it's either gonna be a mess or it isn't. So before it wouldn't work because before I was like taking this post thing and send is send it as a whole back to a server, right? Now I probably won't gonna do that. I'm gonna send as you edit this. I will just send the, the body. If I drop media here, I will just send a picture to special URL. And then server might respond to me with post data, which I'll just simply merge into this, right? Um, another problem, another problem would be that field names might collide. So far I have been avoiding this by namespacing what I put what I put in there. So there is body edited, right? Okay, let me just uh, figure out what what fields do we have. So we have like a post. Post has right so yeah yeah I'll probably just also ID body picture, picture original, blah, 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 right? So then we have body edited, body status, media drag, media drag over, media block. Media status, media status, progress. Message will probably we also have body dot status message. So yeah, picture have URL, content 
five. Dimensions. So this seems more like complete list of what we have. What do I do with it, right? So. Also, if I merge them into the tool, it would be hard to just pass part of it and depend on it. Uh, it's it's still possible to depend on single field, but like on depend on to depend on multiple fields might be harder. Um, but with cursors, it's probably okay. Like so, yeah. The problem becomes like. Do I need some part of the editor UI that only take post or only take some you know body status or media status? Right? Probably not. Okay, yeah, what the hell? Well, <laughs> let's merge them. Um, let's, let's merge them. I, I just just to see how it feels, right? Because the, the one thing that I don't like is nested maps that I really don't like. I hope we will not collide. Normally, I also put uh, namespaces to this, but right now, these fields, this fields come from from the Eden stored on the file system it would be hard to change really so I'm not gonna change that I will change that when I move to real database there will be namespaces definitely namespaces are cool because it's um, it becomes easier to just find them in the file Okay, so here we need also this. Okay, so now what we do is we find everywhere we reference post and remove it. Right? For example, here it's gonna be just also. I should probably also rename uh, form to post now because it is post just with more data. So this this one is uh, one a beautiful thing as well. It is. So you see, I pass form to this component, right? This component only renders text area. And text area might show two types of text. It might show the text of the original post or saved post, the post as it is on the server, or it might show a te text that you changed but is not yet persisted on the server. And depending on which one is present, you want to dynamically depend on one or on another and because i create cursor for each one on the fly and put a react on it and the beauty of it is if there is a body edited so this cursor will be created and will be reacted and this will never execute so if body changes but body edited exists uh, we will not update the component because we will still be in the first branch and uh, the, the, there will be just not, it will not be subscribed to body changes, which is what we want, right? Because we already determined that this, this is what we need. But if we instead 
uh, this is new and we get to subscribe to body as well it will be subscribed to boss right so and this is really natural so it's just plain closure code the same that you will be writing normally but it does really clever stuff behind the uh, curtain and um, yeah and it does exactly what you need in the form which you which you want so normally dynamic dynamic um, subscriptions are complicated but here they're really simple and there is like life cycle creating subscriptions re re registering them this all is all handled by ram so you don't need to think about it much if components goes away all subscriptions go goes away go away uh, there is no like lost resources or something like that so it's you probably cannot screw up with them it's that simple yeah, yeah let's continue uh, we also use post here yeah i probably select this There's no difference, no, not much difference between cursor and cursor in, uh, just for nested or not nested maps. And here, okay, so. Aha, uh -huh, so there's some picture. Well, this is, is simple. So here we react actually to everything, which is not exactly good. Because I do not track carefully which components need what. So for example, this one would be more RAM react RAM cursor or picture maybe I need some short way to write this this would be better uh, status is also well status should be handled like this so if you render this we don't really care about the status uh, which is not actually correct okay this is uh, we will fix this later but probably should go after status right so if we are uploading something but there is already a picture we should show upload it uploading first right so yeah technically status goes here um if upload failed we still need status if there is a picture we show it here otherwise no media so I don't uh, the only thing that I don't like is this maybe move it in here um, again yeah so, so here it's not perfect maybe it should do its own subscriptions like bob url progress here right so 
instead of doing full sync i i feel like i am okay let me write it at all here do not yeah to do do not subscribe to the whole flow okay so our task now is to figure out if we did if we get rid of nested nestedness correctly so data is just post now where is it Okay, uh, let me put maybe I add the transit here as well. Because we're already doing transit, I'm not sure why I serialized data here with post instead of transit. It probably doesn't really matter, not doesn't matter much, but it's okay. Okay. Yeah, so our task now is to figure out if we get everything right or not. Yeah. Let's see. No, definitely not here. Okay, yeah, let's see debug first. Um, boom, 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 boom. It seems okay to me. Okay, let's see normal draft. Yes. Sync. Yes, so here's some problem. Error fetching. Um, I worried why didn't it retry? And this is mm, it's in body. Very low. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Grumpy Editor. No, uh, that's what we need to see. So it has all the author body and ID. Okay, so this is, seems okay, right? Um, yeah, because I put brackets in the wrong place. This should be correct, right? Cool, saved. I feel like I don't get false positives that enough. Let's change it to 30%. Actually, let's change it, change it to one third, okay. Um, I need to reset. Um, So eventually it's saved. Cool. Uh, delete draft. Edit draft. Seems to load what we need. Seems to save. Aha. So now something is wrong, right? So we try to reload the. This thing and it has new talk. It saved empty body. So let's see. We go. Yeah, this is probably wrong as well. So payload. Okay, let's see. Go to body. Yeah, because I changed the structure here, so we just send body, right? So we don't send anything 
much else. Well, the thing is called update body. So we might just send body, naked body to it. Don't go through transit because why would we encode it if you could just send it? Yeah, and we need to delete this and start again. And we need to restart server, of course. Okay. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Save it. Seems to okay. Seems to okay. 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 And new post. And save. Save it. Cool. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, sorry. Oh, this is a bit because body here is request body. I probably should rename it um, to request body. And normal body would be. Probably here. <sighs> Something like this. What else? What else? Well, I think that's it, right? Oh no! I wanted. I also wanted to rename form to post. Uh, fuck. This one would be painful, but better do it now than wait. Okay, so let's give, let's go debug body. Okay, form. <laughs> there is a lot of form, but. Lucky to me, it is quite a unique combination. So they're just selecting it seems to do the job. Form, 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 form. Wow, it, it seems to go really well. I was afraid it will be more complicated. Okay. Um, so now we just need to check if everything is okay. Back.
seems to work. You read. Okay. Okay, yeah, it seems seems okay. Yes, do we call it form in there somewhere? Hope not. Edit draft page. Call it post, right? There's title. There's post transit. Okay, transit. It's for another another time. Okay, so let's see. Let's just commit everything. I think it's all okay. I feel like we simplified a lot of things today. And this is this is good. So how do what's main not this? So main uh, is Basically, we flattened, we flattened, um, flattened form structure placed with post. Cool. Yes, commit. Push. Okay, so I think this is it for today. How are we clocking? Almost two hours. Cool. Yeah, I think this is it for today. Um, thank you for watching. And I think we did really, really quality work today. I mean, cleaning everything up, everything is... I like it much more. It's cleaner, it's simpler, it's like more straightforward. So, yeah. I feel it was a good good two hours to spend. Okay, fixed a couple of bugs as well, it organized everything. So yeah, I like how it's how it's going so far. Okay, join me for the next episode. Bye bye bye.